Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I felt like doing a video today and you know what? I don't even know what to call it because I want to talk about this TikTok ban. It's trending on Twitter. It's all of course, of course, it's all over TikTok. I hope everybody has had a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching my last video. And uh, before we get into this video, do know that Merit at First Sight Decision Day Part 2 will be airing tonight. Um, check your local listings because child, I don't know exactly what time it comes on and where you live because I don't even know where you live. All right. So let's just get right into this video. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you guys. But the gist of it is TikTok is about to be banned based on the government being liars and manipulators. That's my opinion. Let me go ahead and play this TikTok video so that you guys have a better idea and understanding. So the House just passed a bill that would effectively ban TikTok, and I'm going to talk about what all that means. So first things first, their issue is that a company called ByteDance owns TikTok. They say ByteDance is beholden to the Chinese government, and therefore it gives the Chinese government access to American social media users' data. And by making ByteDance sell TikTok, they would no longer have access to our data. That doesn't hold water for me. Setting aside the fact that TikTok has testified that American data is kept on American servers that ByteDance does not have access to, even if they were lying, the Chinese government doesn't have to own an app to have access to our data. This is an ongoing problem that I don't see any bills addressing the larger scale issue of, and I don't see any kind of accountability. The United States government is dealing with an immigration crisis right now. They have immigration crisis. We still have veterans that have come back from the war and from all areas of government serving in the military who are homeless and freaking sleeping in tents. You have people in the United States who are not veterans who are freaking homeless. I mean, we have people in the United States that cannot afford to pay rent because there's no real affordable housing here. People cannot afford to live in the United States. And out of all of those problems, which is not even majority of the problems that we're going through right now in the United States that are not being addressed, the government is focused on a mother freaking app where we do skits and we laugh, see cute pets, follow recipes. It's not just kids dancing, by the way. And you have these older people who have no idea what TikTok is. I don't even know if they know how to log on. They're like 100 years old and they're still passing laws with their decrepit crip keeper hands. I'm sick and tired of this government, period. Talking about you guys are trying to protect our privacy. You're trying to restrict our freedom of speech. Ain't nobody stupid. That's what y'all are trying to do. If we are really, if you're really so concerned, let me just make sure, yeah, I'm recording. If you're really so concerned about our privacy, explain to me why Instagram still exists. Why didn't you guys chop down Instagram the way you're running to chop down TikTok? I mean, Congress, if you're still so very concerned that you have to run and take TikTok off, how come we still have Facebook? We still have Facebook. Face Facebook looks like it's still active. I don't see anybody trying to get Facebook off the air. The whole point is that you want to silence us, the general public. You don't want the news out there unedited and unfiltered. You want to be able to put a spin on it and you can't with TikTok. That is the truth. Imagine that you guys can sit down automatically and you can shut down an entire website from the US, but you can't find us extra money to help our own situation here home in the United States. You can find money to help everybody else, but you can't find money to help us. That goes to show you that they have the ability to do whatever they want, but they just don't do it because they don't want to. But you know what? government i think will be okay because we still have another website where we can go to where we get the unedited news where you can't edit it you can't twist it you can't change the narrative on there and um you guys know how it is one app closes one website closes another one opens i can promise you there will be another american website because apparently they don't want a foreigner having a website hosting here in america so what we need is somebody rich to come out here with an app or we can just bring everything to Twitter. I'm not even going to say YouTube because YouTube ain't been great in a long time. I mean, it's good for content creating, but as far as, oh, let me give you the good unfiltered news. I've never gone to YouTube looking for unfiltered news. And isn't it a damn shame that you have people out here, serial killing, going to schools and shooting schools up and they banned tiktok they passed a law to ban tiktok before they banned guns ain't that something i'm gonna tell you something i do not hate the country because people are so quick to say they hate this country i do not hate the country 
But when I tell you I loathe and I dislike and I hate the way this government runs its business and disregards the citizens' desires, how they take our money and do whatever they want with it. They take the money out of our checks and do whatever they want with it. I'm utterly disgusted. And this is not about, oh, she's mad because they're taking away TikTok. First of all, I don't even get paid on TikTok like I used to. So I really do not care. I get paid more on YouTube than I do TikTok and it ain't much, let me tell you. Let me tell you. And I totally agree partially with this person here because, you know, I like TikTok. But this person says that it, that he doesn't think or she i don't know if it's a girl or a guy doesn't think that the government should have power to ban an entire social media app just because they don't like it and that's all it is guys they don't like the access that we have to the app but you know what we're gonna prevail like we always do here in the united states but i just find it disgusting how this country is run and i pray one day i need all these people born in the uh, 1930s um i need them removed from office i need all these people who should be in their bed sleeping instead of passing laws i need them out of here okay i need them to go home and go to bed i need them to take a couple naps that's what i need them to do i need them to go home and take a couple of naps for the rest of their damn natural lives which ain't long because we don't live to be that old okay and i'm sorry if this comes off mean but no, y'all need to put an age limit on how old you can be to be in Congress, okay? Because it's ridiculous. We're in 2024, and we still have people that were born in the 1930s and the 1940s determining what the hell should be going on. These people should be retired. They should be at home going in their medicine cabinet, and they're over here making laws. That's annoying. That's super annoying. And I think I'm done talking about this. That's all I have to say on this topic. I am going to prevail because I've been on Twitter for 12 years. So it's not like TikTok leaves and I have no other outlet. I have nowhere else to get the news. I have nowhere else to talk. I have YouTube. I have Twitter. And yes, it's Twitter. Y'all can call it X if y'all want to. Y'all new jacks can call it X. I was there before Elon and I'm pretty sure I'll be there after him. Make sure you watch Married at First Sight Part 2 or they're going round two will be showing tonight. And of course, your review for round two will be up either Friday or Saturday. I will do my best to get it up there Friday because I said, you know, I did tell you guys Friday, but I ran a little late this past weekend. But those views, guys, I love y'all so much. It's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.